I tried food prepping every meal for a full month. Here's what happened. Food prep can be an integral part of seeing consistent results, and it's something me and my brother Hudson are huge advocates of. We've had our best results when we've taken the time to prep our food, which in turn helps you hit your calorie and macro goals every day. Now, we've done many videos on food prep over the years, but haven't really shown the possible struggles that go along with what it can take to stay on a food prepping schedule. So in this video, I wanna show what it truly takes to prep every single meal, staying within my calories and macros every day, and some of the hardships along the way. So the food prep challenge starts right now. Now, before we get to the rest of the video, I just wanna say thank you to TLF for helping to make this video possible. They got some great clothing, which you can find at tlfapparel.com. And if you pick anything up, make sure you use our code TLF-BUFF to get 15% off. All right, so it's the morning of day number one, and I'm starting this challenge out by weighing in um, 213 pounds at the moment, also seeing what I look like physically in the mirror and getting documentation so I can have some comparison of where I started with to what I end with in this challenge. Because not only we're showing really what it takes to prep all your meals, but also the results you can get. So this is a good starting point, and I think I'm ready for this. Hello, weary traveler. Are, are you the magical macro and calorie wizard? What do you want here? Well, I was hoping you could help me out and calculate my macros and calories. Ah, a question for the ages. Let me use a little bit of my magic to find out. What the hell is that, a phone? Well, yeah, it's the 21st century, kid. I thought it was gonna be magic or something. Magic is so passe. It's about science now. Get with the times. Okay, well, I... So, can you give me the numbers or not? So, 2,700 calories, 40, 40, 20 split. Well, thank you, I appreciate <coughs> it. Uh, I, sorry, I, I didn't bring any cash to me, so, you know. Ma, not a problem. I take Venmo. I have my calories and I have my macros all figured out. Now it's time to find the food that's gonna help me hit that every single day. So I wanna make some really good and interesting meals and thankfully that's easily done with the Buff Dudes Cookbook. I'm gonna be using this for most of the meals I'm having. And the great thing about this, it has a ton of different recipes and also includes the calories and macros in every single meal. So it's gonna be really easy to calculate. So I have all the meals that I'm gonna be having this first week and the goal here is to rotate the different meal options. So each week I'm gonna be making different meals to make it a little bit more interesting but also to make it easier to stay on this food prepping schedule. But now that I have all the meals figured out, I need to go shopping to get the supplies. Just made it to the store and we don't have a lot to grab, but we do have a list, which can be very important to make sure you get all the items you need. And I have my trusty assistant here to help me out. You ready? Let's go shopping. You never have too many oats. As you can tell, I'm not making all the food. I am giving myself a few pre-made items like rice cakes and protein shakes. So I'm making all the main meals, having some snacks to fill in the gaps. Snacks, man. Just made it back from the grocery store with all the supplies and now it's time to start making the food. And first up is going to be the overnight oats. It's gonna cover my breakfast for at least five days. And I love this recipe because it's not only delicious, it, you can make it extremely fast. I can probably finish this up in as little as 10 minutes. It gives a lot of carbs and proteins to start off the day. And if you wanna make small adjustments to this recipe, you can easily do that by adding nuts or fruits to it, but I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Overnight oats are done and now it's time to start on some lunch. And I'm gonna be doing some tuna patties. So just some tuna, some panko breadcrumbs or rice cereal that you crunch up and some mayo. So you get some nice protein, some carbs and some fat in 
there. And one thing I really enjoy about this recipe is that I don't really mind having it when it's been sitting in the fridge for a few days. I feel like it stays fresh pretty well. And that's one thing you have to take in consideration when doing food prep is finding foods that you can eat that have been sitting there for a while or stay fresh enough that you still enjoy them, even if you either have to reheat them or have them cold. And I feel like for me personally, this is definitely a recipe that provides that. Time to work on the last meal and it's gonna be dinner. And I'm gonna be using the beef crumbled salad recipe from the Buff Dudes cookbook. Uh, it's just beef and salad is pretty much it. Very simple. I'm using some spring mix. I'm chopping some Brussels sprouts up, baking in the oven, adding some black olives and some corn. I'm mincing some garlic to add to the ground beef, cooking two pounds of ground beef up. It's around 93% lean. So I'm getting a lot of protein and a, you know, a decent amount of fat. Not a lot of carbs in this meal other than just from the greens that I'm having and the corn. So I feel like this is a perfect meal to end out the day. And boom, that is it for all the meals. I am ready. Monday morning, here we go. <sighs> The end of week number one and it's been going great. I feel good, my energy's high, my workouts have been awesome and I know because I've made all my food ahead of time that I'm hitting my calories and macros perfectly or just about perfect every single day. Now that's a great feeling. It takes out the anxiety of having to scan everything or track everything and weigh everything out. That's gone. I, I did that all in the beginning and that's what you have to think about. You're, you're really front loading all your work. Now it might seem like a lot of work in the beginning. You have to figure out your calories and macros. You have to find the recipes that are gonna help you hit those numbers in every meal. You have to go shopping. You have to make all the food all at once, which can be a pretty decent amount of work. But really, after that, you're good. You know, throughout the week, you have really nothing to worry about. And that is one thing I love about food prep. Uh, it is going to get you results because you are being consistent with the food you're eating. So week number one has been amazing. The food's been great. But now it's time to start week number two. It's Sunday morning and I'm starting food prep for week number two. I had to go to the store to grab a few extra items that I was missing because I'm doing all different food options than I did in week number one. For meal number one, I'm gonna do breakfast burritos and these are packed full of carbs and protein. Carbs from the sweet potatoes and the tortillas and protein from the egg whites. So not a lot of fat in these, but still very delicious. For meal number two, I'm gonna do some healthy instant soup. Now I was lacking in some of the containers so I had to go to the store and grab some extra containers because I'm putting some quick cook rice noodles, some beef jerky, and some greens in this container so I can just pour some boiling water in and it's good to go. Meal number three, I'm just gonna be doing some Greek yogurt, some protein powder, very simple. I'm gonna add some walnuts in there to make sure I'm getting some nice, good, healthy fats in there. So a lot of protein, some carbs, and some healthy fats all in one. Meal number four, I'm gonna be doing some chicken tenders, but I bought some chicken breasts to cut up into chicken tender size. I personally like it that way. And I'm also going to be breading them. So a lot of protein and a good amount of carbs as well. So it kind of takes care of my full meal all in one. The last meal is just gonna be a snack. I'm gonna be making the Buff Dude Energy Balls. Now this is pretty much just buying some oat cereal, grinding it up into a flour consistency, adding some almond flour to that, some peanut butter, some agave, or maple syrup, whatever you want, and some protein powder, and boom, make them in little balls, put them in the freezer, and you're good to go. So I'm extremely excited for all these meals. I can't wait. I am ready for week number two. reached the end of week number two and physically I'm doing great. I'm looking even better, which is really motivating me to keep going. But now I think something that's really sinking in is the boredom of having the same food every day throughout the week. The spontaneity of having food is gone. I can no longer just open the cupboard and grab a snack if I want to. And the freshness of food is gone as well, which is starting to hit me quite a bit. 
uh, I am just having these intense cravings for just random foods, which is kind of odd because the foods I'm having are, are great. You know, the recipes are delicious, but it is, you know, reheated or I'm having it cold. And I've heard this many times in the past when I've recommended food prep is some people just don't want to do it because they just don't like leftovers. Thankfully, every week I'm doing different food options and different food recipes. So that's helping quite a bit. And I'm really curious to see what I look like and feel like after two more weeks of this. I'm in the home stretch and I switched things up a little bit in these past couple weeks. Instead of making individual recipes for every meal, I decided to cook in bulk. I made a bunch of oatmeal for my breakfast. I grilled a ton of meat, chicken, burgers, and pork, and I made a lot of rice and potatoes. And I wanted to really do this because I wanted to show that you don't always have to make any kind of particular recipe. You can cook the simple single ingredients that you enjoy and make a meal out of that. And sometimes it can not only feel nice to switch things up, but it can also be very delicious too. Cause I know for myself, I really enjoy grilled meat, something I never really get sick of. I love potatoes and rice. So it's really just simple to make it, but also eat it as well. So I'm looking forward to having all these meals and I'm gonna be checking in when I'm all done with this. It is the morning of day 31. It's been 30 days of food prepping every single meal and it's time to check in. I'm gonna start out by weighing in. And it looks like I gained a little over four pounds and doing a little bit of a mirror check and comparing what I look like to day one, it looks like I got a little bit leaner. So that is a huge improvement for only one month. And some people might look at the comparison and say, I don't see much difference. And you just have to think to yourself, one month is not that long at all. It's gonna take months and months and maybe even years for some people to see major results. And that's something that you have to think about. It is not a short-term thing, it is a long-term thing. And food prepping every meal is going to guarantee those results in the long run. So I feel like this is a huge success. I'm gonna stick with this food prepping schedule and it is motivating me to push even harder. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun, hopefully you did too. And as always, stay buff.